So one of the best ways to understand channels is to think about how business first started. We first started distributing and making physical products, cars, food, utilities, etc. And we distributed them through direct sales force. That is, people you shook hands with, looked in the eye, and met. And it wasn't until the mid-20th century that we actually started selling virtual products, things that didn't quite exist physically, like insurance, stocks and bonds, enterprise software, shrink wrap software, started to be distributed through physical channels, but they didn't exist in the real world. But it wasn't until the mid-1990s, with the emergence of the Internet, that we were able to distribute physical products through a virtual channel. Think of Amazon, or Zappos, or Netflix, even consumer electronics sold through the web. And what's happened in the beginning of the 21st century is we now have products that don't exist at all. Facebook, Twitter, Google, they're all bits, and they're also distributed via the web. This virtual, virtual distribution channel allows for easier customization, optimization, and allows you to change both product and channel almost on the fly. Through the rest of this lecture, we're going to show you which channels might be optimum for your startup and allow you to choose which one to pick.